Hello everybody, this is James from Isotropic and in this video I'm going to show you how to install a WordPress website on a DigitalOcean droplet. So before we get started, there are a couple things I want to say. Uh, if you want $100 in free DigitalOcean credit to follow along to this tutorial, that's the first link in this description. If you find this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I do a ton of this type of content and I never mention subscribing in the beginning of the video. So I'm trying that out. Maybe, uh, maybe some of you will subscribe. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is what DigitalOcean is, what a droplet is, um, and the pros and cons of hosting a WordPress website on this. If you already know about this, you already know that you want to be hosting on DigitalOcean and you just want an easy to follow tutorial, then skip to the numbers on the screen right now and that will bring you directly to the uh, droplet setup and then actually installing WordPress. So with that being said, let's get right into why you may want to use DigitalOcean, what it is, and why you may want to stay away from it. Okay, so DigitalOcean is a cloud infrastructure provider and they offer many different solutions for many different uh, applications of their product, but their main selling product is called a droplet and a droplet is a virtual machine uh, which allows you to host any type of application on it or do any type of cloud computing, I would assume. Uh, but many people use this to host WordPress websites and other websites using DigitalOcean. Um, Droplets are very, very fast. They are very, very cheap. Um, and they're fairly easy to use, even if you have no idea what you're doing, which is hopefully what this video will show you. Uh, so there are a lot of pros and cons that come with hosting a website on a droplet. The first thing is you basically become your own hosting company. Uh, you are creating a server, which is what the droplet is. You are installing WordPress on that server, and that server is then serving the website to your visitors. You do not have the fallback that you have with a hosting company, but you have a lot cheaper hosting because of that. So pros and cons. The pros here are you have a very high performance, low cost solution. Uh, the, the droplet starts at $5 a month and that can host uh, most WordPress websites that get minimum traffic and don't have crazy uh, server requirements. There's great uptime and you can scale your website as need be. So you can start off with your $5 a month plan and say you rapidly grow your traffic and you incorporate different complex features that require server-side processing and you need more CPU and more RAM than what the $5 a month gives you. You can click a button, scale the plan up, pay more money, but have more resources available to you. And you'll always be paying less than what a hosting company would charge you for the equivalent service. So you get pricing and performance, but at the same time, you need to manage the server yourself. So if this is a mission critical website and something breaks, something goes down, you get a white screen of death and you have no idea what's going on, there's no live chat, there's no email support, there's only community-based support because you're managing your own hosting setup. That could be a negative if you have a website that needs to be up and you don't completely understand how this works. Because this tutorial is going to show you how to install it, but it's not going to go into every detail about how it works. And that's something that you need to learn about. So I think this is a great option for somebody looking for low cost hosting, um, somebody that can deal with issues as they arise, or somebody looking to learn how to use DigitalOcean so they have enough knowledge to be comfortable in putting their main website on it. The scalability, the performance, and the price are the best in the industry because you're managing it yourself. So those are your pros and cons. Those are kind of the applications to do so. Let's get into the installation process. Once again, $100 free for you. It'll give me credit too so I can host my websites on DigitalOcean too. Uh, just click that link in the description and you're good to go. Um, so this tutorial is going to kind of be three main parts. I'm going to show you how to create the droplet. I'm going to show you how to install WordPress on the droplet. And then I'm going to show you the actual WordPress installation and do a little performance test with it. Um, by following this tutorial, it's going to be in real time. I'm not going to like cut anything or speed anything up. So you should be able to pause at different parts of the tutorial and uh, figure it out on your own computer. 
at the same time, this is going to take a bit longer than uh, would normally take if you know what you're doing. And that's something I want to mention. I mean, it takes under five minutes for me. It takes like two minutes to create the droplet and install WordPress. So this is something that's really accessible to many different people. And hopefully with this tutorial, you'll understand that it's not crazy. You don't need to be an industry veteran. You don't need to be a server manager to host a website on DigitalOcean. So that's enough of me talking. Let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so once you have created your DigitalOcean account, you'll end up in the projects tab of it. And in this projects tab, you need to create a new project. A new project or any project is basically just a folder that helps you organize your resources. So I created a new project called WordPress, and this is what it looks like as soon as you create the new project. Um, first things first, I'm just gonna get started with creating your droplet and uh, show you kind of the settings that I would choose if I was just beginning to host a WordPress website on DigitalOcean. Okay, so first thing, we're gonna choose an image. We're gonna go to Marketplace and select WordPress. This gives us a one-click functionality, makes it very easy to set up uh, in the future, and that's what the second part of this video is going to show. I'm gonna skip the managed SQL database, uh, and then I'm going to keep my uh, plan as a shared CPU basic and just start off at $5 a month. As I said, you can scale as need be. You can also add block storage. So the settings that come with this or your, your, your standards that come with this, one gigabyte of RAM, one CPU, and 25 gigs of SSD storage. Um, that's more than enough, I think, for many smaller WordPress websites that don't get a ton of traffic. If you need more storage, you can add block storage, which is basically like plugging in a flash drive. One gigabyte costs, I believe, to be 10 cents a month or something like that. Um, you can choose your data center region, choose the one that's closest to the majority of your visitors. Um, so you can see that you have, I think, eight different regions or... Yeah, eight different regions. I'm choosing New York because New York's closest to me. And then I'm gonna just keep everything here standard and set up a random password, copy that down. I'm gonna just put that there, but make sure you write this down uh, and then keep everything else here standard. Make sure nothing else is really being changed here. You can use this to categorize stuff. Uh, and then I would also enable backups if this is going production, just so I don't lose anything and I have that redundancy. So I have this password. Uh, and as this partitions, it should take about a minute to get going. Um, what this is doing is installing the one-click installation program and partitioning and creating our droplet, installing Ubuntu on it, uh, booting that up, and basically creating a server that we can use to install WordPress on. Um, with the one-click installation, what we're going to do is use SSH to jump into the back end of the server, um, command line interface, and set up our WordPress installation through that by connecting our domain and creating an admin account and stuff like that. It's literally step by step. If you don't know what SSH is, if you're unfamiliar with server management, just follow this tutorial and you will be able to understand it uh, clear as day. This makes it as easy as possible um, to install WordPress. One other thing I wanna mention is that there are other marketplace images that will help you install WordPress. There's something called Cap Rover. There's an open light speed server, um, but this is really the easiest and quickest way to get WordPress up and running. So as soon as this boots up, I'm gonna grab the IP address and jump into the SSH. As it's booting up, um, SSH, you need a client to access your server via SSH. Um, I use PuTTY on, on Windows. It's a free client, and uh, as you'll see, it's very easy to use uh, and does its job very well. So by now, our droplet should be almost ready. It should be ready very soon, and what I'm going to do is grab my IP, jump into the SSH, log in using the password that I set, which is right here, which is why I copied it up there, uh, and then set up my settings. It should take, uh, if you know what you're doing, it should take three seconds. Um, if you're gonna explain it like me, it should take three minutes, and then you should have your WordPress website ready to go. One other thing, I'm gonna talk about uh, connecting the domain, because if you're actually hosting a WordPress website, you need a domain. So you see my droplet's finally ready, and you can tell that it's a one gigabyte, $5 a month, 25 gigs on the disk. And this is our IP address that we're going to use to um, connect everything to. This is our server IP address. And if you've used hosting before uh, and kind of understand how the IP address works, it just identifies the server and that's what it's used for. So I'm going to copy it by just 
clicking on it and that will copy the IP address. And then I'm going to boot up putty and then get into my server. Um, to get into the server, you just download putty, install it. And this is the screen that will show up, paste in your IP address, keep the port at 22 um, and keep the, the radio selected on SSH. Then I'm going to open it up, click yes and log in as root R O O T. I'm going to paste in my password to paste into putty. It's a right click. So you didn't see a password because there's security. It blocks the password, but I'm going to just paste it in. And now we can see that we have loaded up our first off our Ubuntu web server, but then also our DigitalOcean one click WordPress droplet. And it says a bunch of different things. It gives you a link to a quick start guide. Uh, and it also mentions how like the WordPress file directory is structured, but the thing that we need to take a look at is these couple of prompts. So it's going to give you a few prompts and ask you to help configure the server. So the first thing we need to add is the domain name of our website. The domain name of our website is going to be, uh, at least for me, I have this test domain name, my cool biz site, 123.com. So I'm going to just take this and that's the domain I want my website to be accessed at. So I'm going to paste it in and click enter. Now I'm going to add my email address, which helps me set up my admin account. I'm going to create a username and I'm essentially creating a WordPress user account here. I'm also going to add a password and then I'm going to add a blog title. So I'm going to say demo WordPress site isotropic. Then I'm going to ensure that everything's correctly typed in and click yes. And now I have the option to add a free SSL certificate to my website right now. This is kind of funny. I like laughing at this because uh, GoDaddy tries to charge you $70 for a domain certificate. And I'm paying $5 to host a WordPress website. I'm setting it up in just about 30 seconds if I, if I know what I'm doing. And I get a free SSL certificate included with this. So if you, if you say yes by entering Y, it will prompt you through the information. Uh, you choose your domain and you add your email address. In my situation, I'm not going to do that because I'm using uh, Cloudflare and they have a free SSL certificate already. But if I didn't have an SSL certificate, I would 100% go with the Let's Encrypt. But for now, I'm just going to say no, I don't want that. And now WordPress is ready to go. The final thing I need to do before I'm able to use my site is point WordPress to uh, is point WordPress to my IP address of the actual droplet. To do that, I'm just going to copy the IP address. I'm going to go to my DNS. I'm going to create a a record. The a record is going to have the root URL, the IP4 uh, IPv4 address, which is the IP of my server of my DigitalOcean droplet and click save. Because this is um, Cloudflare, this should be instantaneous. So now if I go to my, if I head on over to my website address, I should end up on my WordPress website. And this is the moment of truth because if it doesn't work, this will not be a completely live video. But if it does work, it'll show you how easy it is there we go. It will show you how easy it is to make a WordPress website. This is a fully functional WordPress website. Uh, anybody can access it from anywhere in the world. If I go on a private tab and type in this address, my site will show up. It's a very quick site too. If I go into the back end, I can log in using the, the username and password that I just set up in SSH. And you'll see that this is just a WordPress site. Uh, if you need a WordPress site for $5, this is the cheapest it gets. This is the easiest it gets, in my opinion. You manage everything yourself. That's one thing to consider. But other than that, uh, you're good to go. So let me show you a really quick um, performance test of it. And the performance is great. And of course, uh, website performance, and we run a, a subsidiary based on website performance. So website performance is not all about your hosting, but hosting is a really big part of it. And if you're looking to only spend $5 per month, I think DigitalOcean is probably the cheapest quality quality host you can get. Here you can see our total blocking time is zero milliseconds. And the main thing is our time to first byte is um, 2.28 milliseconds. Our connection time is 95 milliseconds. So that's pretty good for a $5 host. If we optimized it more, we could get an even better um, time to first bite, but for $5 a month and for a setup that takes under five minutes, 
uh, that's pretty good. So hopefully this was a helpful video that shows you how to create a digital ocean droplet and install WordPress on it in 2021. Uh, be sure to check out that link in the description. It gives you a free um, $100 credits to DigitalOcean so you can mess around. You can follow with this tutorial without having to spend any money. Um, and I think this is just a great solution. So hopefully this was a helpful video. If it was, subscribe and like, um, share this, help help spread the word and, and get money away from GoDaddy. Uh, and until the next video, I won't see you in the next video. I will see you.